This is the 5-Minute Writing Corner with Troy Bernardo. In my last video, we talked about using character alignment to make a character feel more grounded uh, and understanding how they would act in, in a, any given situation. Uh, now, this isn't all we need to make a character feel real, though. Um, generally, after selecting one of the nine squares we discussed last time, I asked myself, you know, what is important to this character, right? What is going to motivate them? Uh, what's going to be the driving force behind their actions throughout my piece? And I want to stress, it really can be anything. Uh, for example, it could be money, uh, either too much or lack thereof, right? Uh, those are going to be different kinds of stories. Uh, family or fitting into a family, uh, feeling like an outcast. Uh, or it can be something more specific, like keeping a family business operational during a recession uh, and trying to keep it afloat. Uh, the trick, though, I think anyways, is that a character should have multiple wants and needs that conflict within a character throughout a story. By having just one motivator, your character is going to feel flat and uninteresting. They're going to be predictable. They're going to be boring. Uh, you know, if they're only interested in money or family, we're going to know how they're going to act in you know, any given situation and not in a good way, not in a stable way, but in a predictable, boring way. We want your character to be pulled in different directions uh, through different factors and different motivations. Um, after all, as people, we don't have one motivation to do things usually. We have countless things that drive us day to day in different directions. For example, I love writing, but I also am a teacher. Um, I have a one-year-old, I have friends, I have other interests, right? Um, I'm not just a writer, I'm many different things. You know, ultimately that's what makes me me, because I have a complex personality with different things going on. And so do you, I'm sure. Uh, but I digress. Let's focus on something that'll improve our writing, and let me give you an example of specifically what I mean. Let's say we have a man named Steven, uh, and family is the most important thing to him. So family is this man's main motivation in this story. He wants to give them a good life uh, and in turn works a job that makes a lot of money so they can be comfortable. But let's be honest, most jobs that are like that are usually a little bit dull, a little monotonous. But the trade-off is it makes him a wealthy man. Sure, he works late hours and sure, he's frustrated by his boss. And sometimes he comes home in a bad mood, but he's doing it all for his family, right? He's making the money for, so his family can be comfortable and live a good lifestyle. And on its surface, it seems like he's doing the right thing. However, as the story progresses, we might see him miss baseball games and birthdays. Right? Uh, Steven, who wanted originally to have a good relationship with his family, um, which he thought he could get through money, that illusion starts to shatter. Uh, a rift grows in the family, understandably so. Uh, because he's not being a very good dad. Uh, Steven's never home. A resentment grows between his kid, his wife, and him. And Steven's mad, right? He's giving up his life to work a job he hates for this ungrateful family? How, how could they be so short-sighted? After all, uh, they want to drive nice cars and go on nice vacations and, you know, live in a nice house. And this is the sacrifice. They can't do that if he isn't working this job. Right away automatically we have a story just based on these motivators right we give a character a few motivations that contradict each other uh, and we can build conflict just by mapping out potential issues that could come up um, so we automatically have this conflict going on we can see steven be pushed and pulled in different directions and ultimately make a choice about his career his money his status and his family right all those things are at stake here you know is steven truly a family man is that what motivates him or is he just shallow materialistic and he's masquerading as a family man um here why don't you give it a try i'll give you two motivators and you can consider ways the two sides might clash with each other so let's go with the first motivator uh being someone pursuing a passion right something they're really really passionate about the other motivator is keeping a marriage afloat now take a second to consider how these two ideas could conflict with each other. Uh, if you really want to, feel free to pause the video. I'll put a little slide here so you can do that if you like.
So what I came up with was maybe we have a husband who's a banker who wants to be a writer, right? He quits his job, but he doesn't tell his wife because he knows she won't be supportive. Uh, over the last few years, he saved up enough money secretly to take six months off and to try to make this thing happen. Right away, we have stakes, we have tension, we have a potentially good story just based on that. Without even writing it, we can see this whole thing blowing up. We see the frustrated artist, we see the unsupportive wife, we see the argument, and honestly, it's almost enough fun just to write on its own without the rest of the story. But that's not all you can do. Uh, let's come up with another example here. Let's say we have a wife who's passionate about the outdoors, right? That's truly her passion in life. She spends a lot of her time going to ecological groups like Earth First uh, and starts to neglect her husband, right? Through her activism. I mean, there are a million ways to make this story work already. Uh, maybe the husband is short-sighted and doesn't see climate change as an issue and that causes conflict in the marriage. Uh, maybe she slowly transform him into a tree-hugging hippie, which is also kind of fun. Uh, maybe he gets his dream job, but is it ExxonMobil who are actively destroying the planet, right? You can almost see the character arcs occurring without even putting pen to paper. So by adding in multiple driving forces behind your characters, you're going to naturally see these changes uh, and textures, making them more complex and realistic. I just want to say again, thanks everyone for watching. The feedback's been so great i'll do my best to keep up with the weekly uploads seems like people are liking that um and i'll make sure to keep this up uh, most importantly though keep on writing